Yes, I can imagine. Everything black and white. Nothing good to listen to. It'd be like, no music and no fun. Mm, I think so. Since before that, I don't like K-pop. Okay. And I, I think I can survive. <laughs> but maybe for some of my friends, maybe cannot lah. Can't live without K-pop? You're not alone. In today's old K-pop, we speak to primary school students who are so in love with Korean pop music that they even enrolled in a K-pop dance class as part of their school CCA. From Super Junior's Mr. Simple to Tiara's Roly Poly And 21's I Am The Best These K-pop dance moves are easy to execute for this group of UT primary school students all thanks to a K-pop dance module offered by their school earlier this year and it's no surprise that students in the class are also K-pop fans Generation make you feel the heat And we're doing it we can be fit But bring the boys up And they aren't the only ones enamored with K-pop. Do your friends talk about K-pop all the time? Nah, they talk always about K-pop. They talk about their favourite member and their favourite band and the new songs that um, they all come out with. Uh, lots of my friends like to listen to Super Junior. Mm. Do they listen, also listen to Justin Bieber? No. No? Okay. What about Jay Cho? I don't think so. So what have you done for K-pop so far? Did you buy their album? Did you... Actually, the person who actually had been buying the albums is my mate. I actually introduced to her those stuff and she started buying them, so we all watched together. Do you practice um, dancing at home as well with her? Not practice, we all of a sudden just dance in front of the TV. So why is K-pop so popular, even with young preteens like them? Because of its song, it's very catchy and... Everybody, their dances are interesting and their clothes are all very glamouring. It's very nice and maybe some of the members are very pretty and handsome. <laughs> I think because of their promoting and variety shows. Aged between 9 and 12 years old, most of the students cited their elder sibling or friend as the reason why they became interested in K-pop in the first place, including 9-year-old Rochelle Tan. Uh, I've been listening to K-pop from my sister. Mm, since when? Like three years ago. I was like six years old. Mm. But now she thinks it's very boring. <laughs> she thinks K-pop is boring? Yeah. So she's moved on No, to... she thinks it's tiring, not boring. Tiring, why? Yeah. Because... Um, too uh, much. Yeah, too much work. She wanna get good marks. That's why she wants to. She wants to concentrate yeah. on her studies. Yeah. Do you think you'll be tired of K-pop? No. Why not? Um, I'm not sure. Because every time at home, I'm very active. On the other hand, some like 12-year-old Swaswina became a K-pop convert only after joining the class. Why weren't you interested at first? Uh, maybe because I actually thought that it's like, very common and like, very boring. And since like, I don't understand what they're talking about, so actually I thought it's like, very like, lame to hear, but we don't understand what it's actually But Then my friends told me that there's the subtitle, so I tried, then I think it's actually quite nice. Now I kind of love it. Some of them even harbour dreams of K-pop stardom. Do you hope to be a K-pop star one day? Yeah. 
Maybe. So if they do get to debut as a K-pop group, what would they name themselves? Find out in our next clip.